Welcome to Positive Thinking TV. How to get closer to God. The way to getting closer to God has never been buried in obscurity. It has always been open and transparent. The only thing has always been the lack of will, discipline, and commitment to follow the prescribed guidelines by God. Interestingly, the scriptures have indicated that God takes pleasure in his creations coming closer to him. He consistently called on man to draw closer to him. In Isaiah 1:18, the Bible says, "Come now, and let us reason together," saith the Lord, "though your sins are as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow, though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool." This typically shows how much God wishes for a relationship with a man. He also clarified what he requires of man to enjoy the relationship, closeness, and fellowship with him. Concerning this, the Bible has this to say in Isaiah 55:7. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, and he will have mercy upon him, and to our God, for he will abundantly pardon. Here the Bible clearly states repentance. That is return as an absolute requirement for reunion or closeness with God. This same position of God was also confirmed by Christ Jesus in Matthew 11:28. When he says, "Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavily laden, and I will give you rest." From the preceding, it is evident that God desires a relationship with a man and also prescribes his terms. In furtherance to this, In Joshua 1 to 8 He says This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success Here we deduce that God wants man to return equipped or ready to be equipped with the knowledge of his ways and principles Jesus also affirmed this in Matthew 11:29 to 30 When he said, "Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light." This went further to show that God's recommended and approved way to closeness with him is through repentance first and then search for the knowledge of him from the scriptures. This truth was expressed in Matthew 11:29, where he says, "Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart." and you will find rest for your souls and there is no better way or place to learn of him god than through the reading of the scripture his word and meditating on it as prescribed in Joshua 1:8 this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success And since good success cannot come without closeness with God, and intimacy with him cannot be possible without closeness with his word, the Bible. Therefore, from the preceding, we can rightly deduce that God wants us closer to him through the study of the Bible. This, though, is without prejudice to obedience. This truth has been expressly stated and recommended as one of the potent ways of getting closer to God. The Bible indicated that for God to approve of your advance towards him you approve yourself first through the study of his word this can be seen in 2 Timothy 2:15 study to show thyself approved unto God a workman that needeth not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth suffice to say therefore is that getting closer to God requires diligent search and studies of God and this can only be done by studying the bible We also need to understand that it is not every study of the word that can yield the desired outcome. To this end, we recommend as follows to get gain the most of this criterion. Find a serene environment. When you want to study the Bible, look for a conducive place devoid of noise and distractions so that you can concentrate and gain the most from your study. Set a conducive time. You should as well dedicate time to the study. Have an objective for the study in your mind. purpose in your heart your intention of the study which should be knowing god's personality plans promises and of course requirements for attaining closeness or relationship with him study with faith study it with an open mind and absolute faith in the word 
you may also consider using the following to enhance your understanding and appreciation of the books. Different translations of the Bible. This is to help you check out and compare for a more accurate understanding of the Bible. Bible commentaries. This is to help you check theological explanations to certain chapters or verses that you may not have thoroughly understood. Biro and notebook to make notes. Marker to mark important places relevant to your search. Bible concordance and reference for understanding and for references of other verses of the same or similar idea or thought. You may also use the following pattern to study. You can choose to study it book after book, character by character, chronologically, or book by book. Meditation. Meditation is very crucial in getting closer to God. Reading the Bible cannot profit you much without meditating on what you read. During the meditation, God, through his spirit, gives more inspiration on what has been read. To meditate is to give thought to what you have read to reflect and imagine it with your mind's eyes. Obedient and humility. Obedience is highly elevated above anything that can engender a relationship between God and man where obedience is absent, other factors become of no use. Obedience validates every other factor that can get man closer to God. Scriptures validated this truth in several places. For example, in 1 Samuel 15 22. And Samuel said, Hath the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices, as in obeying the voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of rams. This means that, in doing business with God, God places the highest premium on obedience before any other things. Jesus validated this position in the course of his teachings when he said in John 14 23-24. Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man loves me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him, and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings, and the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. The easiest way to the heart of God and to earn his fellowship is obedience to his word. God, while responding to Solomon's prayers in the Second Chronicles 7 14. He says, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves, and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Here God gives explicitly and unequivocally four conditions to getting accepted by Him. Turning from their wicked ways here can be paraphrased to, start obeying Him in addition to humbleness at both the heart and disposition. Being humble enough to pray or praying without haughtiness. Seeking for God for guidance through His words and prayers. And turning away from iniquity or what God forbids. Prayer and fasting. Fasting is the act of mortifying the body so that the spirit may become prominent. And you know God is spirit and works through our spirit. So as the fresh goes down, the spirit gains prominence then our access to God increases or becomes easier. And God requires prayers as a form of relationship. Hymns and other spiritual songs. Hymns and spiritual songs lift the spirit of man to connect with God's spirit. We saw it with Elisha. In 2 Kings 3 15-16. Where Elisha needed music to connect with the Spirit of God for prophecy. 2 Kings 3 15 16. But now bring me a minstrel. And it came to pass when the minstrel played, that the hand of the Lord came upon him. And he said, Thus saith the Lord, Make this valley full of ditches. Spiritual songs are the food of the Spirit, and we connect to God through the Spirit. The more your Spirit is fed, the more its capacity to connect. Joy and rejoicing. It is with joy that we can get from God. The Bible affirmed this in Isaiah 12 3. Therefore with joy shall you draw water out of the wells of salvation. We get closer to God in the atmosphere of joy and rejoicing. Engaging in the kingdom stewardship. Working for God endears us to God. We saw this in the second Chronicles 7 11 12. Thus Solomon finished the house of the Lord and the king's house and all that came into Solomon's heart to make in the house of the Lord, and in his own house, he prosperously effected. And the Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said unto him, I have heard thy prayer, and have chosen this place to myself for a house of sacrifice. Kingdom stewardship endears us to God. 
Fellowship with other believers? We are built through fellowship with other believers and the spirit of iron sharpens iron. It is on this note that Paul urged us. In Hebrews 10 25. Saying not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another, and so much the more, as you see the day approaching. Listening to the teachings of your priest. We must also make it a duty to always listen to the teaching priest or whoever God has set over us to teach us his way. In 2 Chronicles 20:20. 20, 20. And they rose early in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa, and as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, belief in the Lord your God, so shall ye be established, believe as prophets, so shall ye prosper. Here we saw how God balances the importance of believing God and listening to the prophet. So to get closer to God, you must not ignore his priest's teaching. Giving Giving here includes giving of both material and non-material things. It also includes giving thanks and appreciation. Giving attract the favor of both God and man. King Solomon Through giving attracted God's attention and supernatural visitation by God at night and a blank check in 1 Kings 3 4-5. And the king went to Gibeon to sacrifice there, for that was the great high place, a thousand burnt offerings did Solomon offer upon that altar. In Gibeon, the Lord appeared to Solomon in a dream by night, and God said, Ask what I shall give thee. Giving is a way maker. In Proverbs 19 6. Many will entreat the favor of the prince, and every man is a friend to him that giveth gifts. We appreciate you watching this video till the end. Consider subscribing so that you do not miss out on other exciting videos that we post every Wednesday and Saturday. Click on any of the videos you will see on the screen carefully handpicked for you to enjoy at the end of this video. We hope you like and drive value from this video. We love you.